I don't work in normal situations. I regard myself as a disaster tourist. You know, I go to countries where nobody wants to go to. So you have to be mad to be able to work with me. It wasn't because of school that I decided what I want to do. It was because of a person, Dr. Hafaji. He would come home and treat everybody with such respect. At a very young age, I said, I will be a doctor because of this man. The spiritual teacher looked me in the eye and he said, my son, you will form an organization. The name will be Wakful Wakifin, Gift of the Givers. You will serve all people of all races. You will serve them unconditionally. Dr. Suleiman is one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. His life was just giving. So I wanted to shoot a portrait of Dr. Suleiman holding this gift, looking into a place of absolute desolation. We built a three-story building hospital in the middle of a war zone. People thought we were mad. The bombs fell. The guy that I dealt with, Dr. Ahmed Gandur, he started singing. Bombing, shelling, bombing, shelling. And he added a whole lot of Arabic words, which I don't know what it meant. And the guy said, is this guy crazy? <laughs> and he would laugh at it because you could find this was a way of outlook for them. It was in Somalia. When I went to a child and I put a biscuit in the child's hand, the child took its own hand, small hand, and rubbed my face like this and, and gave a big smile. It, it was very touching. All these communities that I see, they receive you with open arms. And they say, it doesn't matter if you bring something or you don't bring something. What matters to us is the fact that you thought about us. The greatest thing South Africa has taught me is the spirit of love. You know, we've come from a turbulent past, but in spite of that, I've noticed the togetherness between different people. Can we get some rubble that side? Don't throw it at Dr. Solomon. <laughs> Tell him just come with me on all my missions and save you all this trouble. <laughs> <laughs> a gift represents human kindness, and there are truer words are spoken with Dr. Solomon. He'll give a gift without expecting anything back. And I love the contrast between this beaming man and this gift, and he brings them to the darkest places imaginable. Never put a person who's down into the ground. Carry them and pick them up. And whatever you do is done through you and not by you. And don't ever forget that.